Dear friend, things must be done if you've pulled your flap out of the bottom drawer of your Feldmarschall mobile retractable table implement. Stuck in a brothel on the Polish border, spilled champagne all over chief of staff and wiped the battle plans of your body. Received a call from Führer's dog and got the worst poofing over of your life. Then please take the regulation dose of the cabbage basin vitamin delivery system enclosed with the package and let the flap goblins help you bumble through this battle. Onwards to another failed marshal party. <laughs> The first mission of the campaign toothlessly greets you with an unenviable cool force. Weep as you've been blessed with the worst tanks of the entire game. Panzer can fucking eyes, guaranteed to stop a cavalry saber, now with escape hatches for your skedaddling convenience. The guarantee refers to this particular saber we made a dull not to break a tank. The artillery offers some consolation though. With their astounding range and calibre, these cannons will open fire on the Polish officer's cigars right before you have to smack them down with broomsticks. Luckily, we've got four cool slots to fill, and a wallet full of prestige to go on a small shopping spree. As we got to sniff the wrong end of the toilet plunger on the tanks in the RC, let's at least get some of the latter and an infantry unit up north to help us capture Poznan later. Don't worry about the planes, the Poles aren't giving us any trouble in the air for a long time, and we are getting reinforced by a star dimwit up there pretty soon anyway. And thus, we've got one infantry, two artillery and one recon unit in Frankfurt that will push to Poznan. The main force with three tanks, three infantry, two artillery and a pile of unnameable rubbish will be stationed on Glogau and Trebnitz, sweeping through the south and onto Kalish and Konin. Use your trains. You have two of those. Perfect for unloading slow cannon fodder right next to your last objectives. I'm looking at you, boxy peanut shooting anti tanker poo poos! Speaking of cannon fodder, enjoy the unthinkable as the general staff has given you non core units that are better than your own chaps. This must be remediated as soon as possible, so throw these smug temporary ass hats into your worst battles. You're not seeing them ever again. The Polish anti-air gunners are infernally hangover today and can't look straight upwards without a headache. These guns won't attack your planes unless you try to bomb them directly. I recommend you not buying any fighters for this mission. Use this to your advantage. The AI loves reinforcing its planes, so kill the fighters, but damage the bombers, and let the gormless chipchump dump its prestige on repairs. Anyway, there'll be three weak fighters and one bomber unit overall. And now that we have smeared the carpet of battle full of intelligent ideas, let's see some roll. Dear viewers, may I present a lovable Rudel the Drooling Binocular. Ask him to bomb Warsaw and he'll flocculate some pierogi. Still, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Even if this mouth has its own halitosis on, freaks and dentistry museums, so we'll let this wonder child spread his arms and make some whirring noises around his enclosure and lift off his private petting zoo. On a slightly more competent note, don't forget to pay a little visit to our Polish friends at the checkpoints in the airfield in the middle. One infantry ought to be enough. With some air support? Yes, air support! Look, there's no point crying, he's not going away! Ooh, the Poles have started to think of deciding to actually try and pull their shit together. Quite literally, I'm afraid, as armored scooters and horsey people spring out of the fog of war as soon as you capture the rail station. This is also when the Border Patrol dive bombers trigger, clearly miffed at your smuggling all that schnapps over from Frankfurt. While the bombers are easy to dispatch, the horsey scooter gang delivers the stiffest resistance you gain to encounter in this battle. If you're fast enough, so just smash them and don't worry about the losses. Once they're out, rush to Kalish, there aren't any surprises left ahead. Sort of. This is also when you'll approach Poznan. With two artillery units and an infantry, you can comfortably take it in a couple of turns. This objective will not give you any grief. Let's talk about what will then. Look at this arty, and these AT guns, and this. These are reinforcements the enemy has planted around important objectives, all while you were wasting time elsewhere. The enemy is loaded up to the brows with prestige, and this nonsense will pester you when least needed, so your ground units must stop worshipping their doorknobs and reach these towns as soon as possible. Also notice the train with slow cannon fodder sneaking into Vrzeshnia. Face it, Conan is the hardest town to take here, so sweep everything out from under the carpet, even the anti tank junk. The other objectives won't give you trouble. Grab the airfields from the hangover crowd and the last bit of the scooter gang, and slam through Kalish with all you've got. And done. Conan is ours, all flags are captured. Decisive victory on turn 10 out of 14. A safe result that can probably be improved to 9 or 8 with lucky rolls. All that is left now is to be a good completionist and advance to Danzig Corridor South. 150 prestige await. 
You could show up all the Dunkirk down a maneuver, not capturing Conan until turn 14 and just mooning the increasingly livid Poles from the outskirts. Marginal victory will send you to Danzig Corridor North with a dunce prize of 50 prestige. In case you were wondering, defeat ends the campaign as you're immediately transferred to Pedicure General the game, where you proceed to service Ever Brown's lower members, Hex by Fungus Infested Hex.